Hello there Apps by viewers, my name is Peter and I've got a hands-on preview for you. This time it's with Let's Go Rocket. Let's Go Rocket is from Cobra Mobile, then what made iBomber, and it is an endless action, one-touch, arcade-esque game. In the same sort of genre, but not nearly in the same galaxy as uh, something like a Flappy Bird. And I say that because this is absolutely rammed with stuff to do, little details, extra bits of polish and niceties that you just don't see in your average game of this sort. Um, so basically, you know, with this rocket, we're just shum, zooming around and trying to avoid stuff as much as we possibly can. But it's these little details, like, oh, little chap just gets in there, uh, ready to go on the mission, or I can leave him behind. Why not? We're going to leave him behind. I feel pretty bad about this, actually, but I'm going to. And then there's a little chap there as well, and they come up every so often. It's one of these cute little additions and so forth, but that's just a visual thing. So let's go to the, go to the home section, and in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got this little button, and if we want, we can unlock all sorts of new ships. Loads and loads of stuff, loads of stuff to see. So, you know what, let's go ahead and unlock Astro. We've changed out to Astro. And then if we hit the play button, and uh, skip that advert, it is free to play. There we are, Shum. different kind of visual style there. So we've got a di slightly different looking ship, but we've also got different backgrounds and so on. And that is a theme throughout the rest of the ships that you can unlock. One of them is extremely Game Boy in its visuals and the backgrounds are similar uh, and so are the obstacles. So there's a lot of depth here in terms of that sort of stuff but there's also a whole bunch of really cool social elements that you might not notice at first but I think people who really really enjoy this will totally adore. So I just passed my daily best for example and you'll see these little markers you'll see these little markers come up every so often there you go, that's the average score. That's my average score that I can get to. My average score is about two or three, which is kind of pitiful if you think about it. But that's, yeah, that's my average score. And then there'll be a daily best, and then there's an actual best. And there's a whole bunch of other social stuff that you'll be able to tie in as well, leaderboard support and whatnot. So if you're looking for a game that's going to be about high score chasing, I think this is probably going to be the one. And the actual controls, even though I'm not doing brilliantly, uh, honestly, I am better than better than this usually. I'm, ju I'm just showing, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, it's it's terrible because basically I've got performance anxiety. That's, that's it. That's my excuse. Um, that's the thing I'm going to stick with. Uh, but, you know, I can, I can do okay at this and I can continue and sometimes I'll have a really good run. Maybe I'll get to 15 or whatever it is and I'll want to show that off and compete with my friends. And I think that for the kind of people that are going to that want to compete with their friends in that way, I think that this is going to be perfect for that. You can also earn gems by watching adverts and so forth, and so forth. And there are adverts as well, these little interstitial ads. But there's nothing too gross uh, coming up. There's no like really big. 20 second video ads that you can't skip or anything like that and I think that that definitely helps. We also try a new rocket, there we are, so this is a completely new one and we're just trying this one out for free. Oh, they're running away, look, it's a little frog and a dude. And there's lots of different references to, uh, well, all sorts of stuff in here. Lots of little uh, geek culture references that I think people are really going to love. So there we are, that is Let's Go Rocket. It is out on May the 14th on iPhone and iPad. Do let me know what you think of it in the comments. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.